This edition of On Stage is nothing but cool, so sit back and take it all in. I'm Julia Figueres. The Margaret Explosion is next. Welcome to On Stage. Esoteric, spacey, eternally elegant. All music critics' descriptions of the Margaret Explosion, a group that evolved out of a very different kind of band from a very different time in Rochester's rock history. How did one of the Flower City's most successful new wave pop bands become this most musically intriguing outfit? I'm Julia Figueres. We'll get the answer to that question and others, beginning where the Margaret Explosion always does, with improvisation from WXXI and WRUR.
Improvisation. You're on stage with Margaret Explosion. Peggy, please introduce everybody in the band. Well, on my right is Bob Martin on guitar. Hi, everybody. And Ken Frank on bass. Hello. Paul Dad on drums. Hi, everybody. And Pete LeBon is joining us from the Adirondacks on piano. Great to be here, folks. And of course, we need to give a round of applause for Peggy Fournier. So thanks for coming in. Your first song for us was called Improvisation because, Bob? It's an improvisation. We make them up as we go along. Um, in fact, mo when you see us live, most of what we play is made up as we go, completely from scratch. So making a CD, Peggy, must be a little tricky then because everything is pretty ephemeral and always changing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, actually, when we record, it is pretty much for the first time. And we record a whole lot of stuff, of course, and throw, a, throw away a lot, but, um, you know, keep the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you, you really honed this sound by, by um, playing at the Bug Jar. You were, mm -hmm. you were doing um, yeah. Happy Hour at the Bug Jar. So what was Happy Hour at the Bug Jar like, Paul? Um, happy. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I mean, they brought in, uh, you know, there were different owners, but... Casey would bring in, uh, he'd cater, he was vegetarian, so it was always uh, food from the India house. And uh, rolling rocks were a dollar, and it was very comfortable. And well, people so let's channel that. Let's get that all in our minds. Let's keep it in mind and listen to Margaret Explosion on stage.
Target Explosion. Jungle Extraordinaire. And before that, Floating at the Bug Jar. This is on stage. I'm Julia Figueres. Ken, you're the most recent member of Margaret Explosion. You played with Lydia Lunch, big punk icon. What happened to you? Well, I, I played with Lydia before she was Lydia Lunch, so uh, right but, before she did, went down in Lydia New York Lunch City. Or did Lydia Lunch play with you before you were Ken Frank? And Paul, how did you find him? Ken? Yeah. Uh, you know, it was at Scorgies, and he was playing with this band uh, that we played with, uh, Five Star Buffalo, and we loved the band, so I think we hooked up there. Five Star Buffalo. <laughs> well, we love having him in the band, I'm We sure. do, yes. Uh, we're going to go back to the groove, I think. We've got the Margaret Explosion. We're on stage from WXXI and WRUR, and we'll be listening to Margo Blues.
Field personal effects song, Don't Wake Me, on stage, hardly as it was first played. When personal effects really peaked, it was a really heady time in, in, in music in general. You mm -hmm. guys were playing in New York City. You had Airplay. Spin Magazine was writing you up. Scorgies, Scorgies. We should talk about Scorgies. I mean, what was that like then? We love Scorgies. A lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was very it, fun. It was a blast. It yeah. was great to have a venue like that for bands to play, and he got lots of out-of-town people. It was a lot of fun. It was really The coolest great. thing about it was that he didn't do anything. This was an empty room in the basement of a funky bar. So, like, there are no chairs. That helps a lot for a rock and roll club. And uh, it's just the stage, a great sound system, and a bar. So, and the drinking age was 18. I mean, not that I'm promoting <laughs> young drinking. drinking. It made age. a big difference. That's when kids are, <laughs> you know, that's when they're, you know, developing <laughs> M musically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they're all gone now. Uh, Pete Lebon, you were playing with Alex Chilton. You were playing with Richard Hell. And then you just walked away. I walked, no, I, I still know them. <laughs> Pete was the original Margaret Explosion member. Coined the moniker. Uh, yeah, coined the name, right? So where does Margaret Explosion come from? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Peggy is kind of a crazy nickname for Margaret. So when you look back at the, the era of the Scorgies and, and when all that energy was happening, and it was across the country, it was everywhere, do you see that coming back at all? Yeah, sure. Nothing's changed, really. It's just different venues and 50-year-olds. <laughs> yeah, they're all 50. <laughs> but it'll be its own thing when it does, whatever it is. And it always is. I mean, that, was a, you know, that wasn't a replay of anything, and it won't be a replay again, I don't think. I think we're going to go back to a little bit of music here on stage. We, uh, we have a single song set. It doesn't happen very often on stage, but, but you have one for us tonight. So we're going to sink right back into Alice with the Margaret Explosion from WXXI and WRUR.
Hear more from the Margaret Explosion and learn about New York State's diverse musical talents. Log on to WXXI.org slash onstage and turn it up. The Margaret Explosion with Alice. Thank you all. Thank you all for being here. On Stage is produced by WXXI Public Broadcast in Rochester, New York. This edition was recorded live in WXXI Studio A. I'm Julia Figueres. We have a bit more from the Margaret Explosion in the Playground Tavern from WXXI and WRUR On Stage. The presentation of On Stage is made possible in part by the New York State Music Fund, established by the New York State Attorney General at Rockefeller Philanthropy Advisors.